Welcome friends. In today's video, we will be seeing how to extract the list of top 500 companies listed on the Bombay Stock Exchange or on the NSC National Stock Exchange. So let's go to Google first of all and type ET 500 companies list 2014. Then click on this first option over here and it will take you to the Economic Times site where you have this entire list which is compiled by Economic Times for 2014. Here you can see that it contains various details of the company, company's name, revenue, revenue change, PAT for 2014 and 13 and the ranking which they have given up based on the certain criteria. However, on their side they don't have an option of extracting this entire list into an Excel file in a tabular format. It will be easier for us to have this list into Excel and then analyze their data. So let us start copying this data into Excel. Select this entire stuff manually. Control C, go to your Excel file and paste special that as an text over here. So here you can see that I am selecting the text option and it is copy pasted over here. This way you will have to do it 20 times since there are 500 companies and it has been separated into 25 companies on one single page so probably you will have to do it for all the 20 pages just manually copy paste that i will show you one more page how i am copying it and i will pause my video for the rest of the stuff which once i can copy it so i'm just selecting it manually Control c and then go back to your excel file and paste at the end of the data which you have pasted for page one so now here you can see there is a gap of two rows over here so after two rows i am just going and pasting that with the use of paste special option over here select text click ok so you have this data for the top 50 companies pasted over here similar way you can do it for the other pages as well i will pause this video copy paste all other data and we'll come back okay now you can see on screen that i have copy pasted the entire data for 500 companies from this website over here but since this data when i have copied pasted as a text over here it is not coming into the tabular format we'll be using various excel functions and convert this data into a tabular format so let us scroll at the top and you can see the way this data has been copy pasted over here it is in the same fashion over here so the first item over here is rank for 2014 so let us start typing in that the second item is for rank 2013 so let us type this company name okay revenue okay then revenue percentage change is this okay the next item is pat then the pat percentage change then the next item comes over here this is the combination which i am taking up now the next item is market capitalization so i am just typing that then the next item is assets over here so here i will just type in assets done now let us give a heading over here as a category data okay just bold it now press ctrl shift end so that your entire data is selected now press ctrl shift l so the filter options have been put up on this data now let us filter this data for the blank rows and remove them unselect this press end it will take you to the blanks select that and click ok now select this entire stuff by pressing ctrl shift end and ctrl minus delete the entire sheet rows over here all the blank rows have now got deleted over here now you can see on your screen everything has got deleted now select this entire stuff and just double click this small icon over here once you hover your mouse on this small icon it will change to the plus sign just double click that and when you see this small icon over here click on that and select copy cells so that the data is being copied the same way 
which we have typed over here till the first company so it gets copied immediately below the rows let us insert one more column over here and now type as keep a heading of that as a company name now let us filter the data for the company name only and now we will be just copy pasting this press is equal to and with the left arrow key select this particular cell now copy it and let us copy paste across this entire region press alt semicolon so that only visible cells are selected and then press ctrl v so you can see that this has got copy pasted into the all the cells over here now let us unfilter this and you can see that our company name is coming under this column over here now we will be using another trick to copy paste this name at the top as well as below till here only so let us filter with ranks and the company name rank and company name press ok now select this first cell and press ctrl shift end and then ctrl shift top arrow key then press ctrl g special and select blanks ok only blank cells are selected now press is equal to and then press down arrow key only single time and it will select the cell just below that and press ctrl enter ok now this details have copy just at the top let us unfilter this and see whether it has copy pasted correctly or not so you can see our name has just been copy pasted in the top two rows here now we will have to copy paste this same name just below it as well for this blank cells so let us now select this with ctrl shift end and again ctrl shift up arrow key ctrl g alt s special and select blanks over here ok now you can see that it has selected only the blank cells now press is equal to and now this time up arrow key and select only a single cell above that and now press ctrl enter now you can see that our company name has been copy pasted appropriately for the data which we had over here from our economic time side now let us convert this entire value details into values ctrl c alt e s pay special that as and values over here done now we will be creating a PO table out of this select this entire data with shift right arrow key and ctrl shift down arrow key now let us go to insert click PO table since we have already selected the range over here it will consider that range only select a new worksheet and click ok so it will create a new PO table over here now drag and drop this company name under rows category under columns and data under values over here so as of now everything is coming as one so let us click on this well, drop down menu value fields and instead of count let us select sum over here now you can see that our data has been populated over here now let us remove this particular column from our this drop down and uncheck this company name now you can see that the details have been correctly copied updated over here in a tabular format we can cross check it for 3m india as such let us go back to our original sheet and filter the data for 3m only ok let us select 3m now this data is just filtered for that so you can see that rank for 2014 was 441 and 2013 it was 479 it is coming correctly over here rank 2 2013 is 479 and 14 441 same way for other details also you can cross check revenue is 1762 here also revenue is coming 1762 same way for revenue percentage change as well everything is coming correctly appropriately so now you can convert this pure table into a value select entire table ctrl c alt e s and pay special that as and values so now you can put up your filters and row labels and the way you want you can just analyze this data thank you post your question on youtube also leave a feedback and kindly subscribe to the channel if you like the videos